Hey guys, it's Sarah, and I'm here to make a book haul video. Again, sorry I haven't been on, I haven't been reading a lot or watching any videos because I've just been in a big reading slump. So I decided to try to get myself out of reading slump by watching more booktubing videos and making some just to get myself motivated. If I sound really tired or my voice sounds off, I'm sorry because I'm really sick right now. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a book outlet haul of the books that I've gotten at book outlet, bookoutlet.com. And bookoutlet.com is this amazing website where you can get really, really discounted books. Like, a lot of these books are $5 for a hardback, $3 for a paperback. It's ridiculous. And it's just, it's real, it's true. They are almost fine condition, almost perfect condition. They don't look used at all. Unless you get scratch and dent, then they can come without covers and they come beat up. And I have a scratch and dent that I can show you the example of. I'm sorry. <laughs> But yeah, so it's just an amazing website, and if you're nervous about it, just try it out. It's very, very fun, because I really get nervous when I order things online, because I don't really trust every website. But I looked up and I asked around, and Book Outlet was fine, and I ordered and I got my stuff, and I was shocked that I got these books for such a cheap price. So yeah, um, I'm not sure how many I have, maybe 20, I don't know. So let's get started. The first book I have is Infinite Days by Rebecca Maisel. And I'm actually reading this one. I'm 66 pages in. And it's pretty good. It's about a girl named Lena or Lena. I forgot how you pronounce that. And she has been a vampire for about 500 years or so. My dog's trying to break in my room, sorry. And, um, oh my gosh. Uh, he's gonna videotape with us. Anyway, so she's been a vampire for 500 years or so. And her boyfriend, Rode, sacrifices himself so she could become human again. But now she misses him, that she is human, she wanted to be human with him. And she falls in love with this boy named Justin, who's the popular boy in school and everything like that. And then her past comes back to haunt her. Oh, it's hard to film with this puppy. This is my puppy, I just got him recently. And he's a pug. Are you gonna go on the table? Really? Don't show your butt. No. I'm gonna put you down. Sorry, and his name is Tobias. Just like Divergent. Which I called it Tobias for a long Tobias for a long time and then someone corrected me and said it's Tobias. So I was like, uh Anyway, yeah, so that's pretty good so far. And then I have the sequel to that, Stolen Nights by Rebecca Maisel, which I don't know if it's companion or sequel or what, but I hope to finish Infinite Days, hopefully by the end of this month. I probably won't, though. Because, as I said, I'm in a reading slump. I'm going to try to read some tonight. The next book I got was Partials by Dan Wells, and I wanted a hardback of Partials for the longest time, but I didn't want to pay, like, $20 for it, because hardbacks are, like, $20 when you go to the bookstore, everything. And so I decided to find this, and I found it on Book Outlet. I was so happy for, like, $6, too. So it's hardback, which I have an art copy, but I'm not going to get rid of it. Anyway, Partials is about, I guess, a dystopian world. I guess the future's kind of screwed up, and now humanity's at, like, at its finest, or it's just... I guess it's really, really crazy, and they have to figure things out, so it just seemed really good. The third book in that series just came out. Sorry, my dog is tearing things up. So I'm curious to see how the trilogy goes. Toby, what are you doing? That's his nickname, is Toby. The next book I got is Pretty Girl 13 by Liz Cole. And, oh gosh, I for the life of me cannot remember what this is about. I think it's a abuse story. I think a girl is abused and she runs away. Yeah, it's about a girl that got kidnapped and abused and I guess they have to remember the story and piece together what happened. So it seemed really interesting. So next book I got was Texas Gothic by Rosemary Clement Moore. And I guess this is about a girl named Amy who her family are witches, I believe. And she goes to her uncle's farm. Yeah. Her f uncle's farm. And while they're there, she meets a guy, I guess. And then they also meet this ghost, which is tearing up the place and, like, just causing a bunch of havoc and stuff. And I guess they can't defeat the ghost, and the ghost has stronger powers than them, and they have to figure out how to defeat it. So that seemed really cool. Awkward. The next book I got is Black City by Elizabeth Richard. And this is a vampire love story. Kind of love story. I heard it's vampire dystopian. I don't really know what to expect from this because I've heard so many different things. But I guess there's this girl named 
Natalie and a boy named Ash. Love that name because of the Iron Face series. And, um, anyway, back to this book. Yeah, so Ash and Natalie, I guess Ash is, like, half vampire, half human, and Natalie's full human. And in this world, vampires and humans kind of live apart. They know about each other, but they kind of don't interact because they don't like each other. And I guess there's, like, a wall or something, and they just... I guess some stuff goes down, and Ash and Natalie meet, and they have to do, I don't know, something. Probably take down the government, because that's what a lot of young adult dystopian books happen to do, is take down the government. Next book I got was Hemlock by Kathleen Ke Peacock. Ka Kathleen Peacock. Yep, I was right. And this one is about a girl who I guess her best friend gets killed by wolves. No, she gets murdered, and I guess there's wolves in the stories or something like that. I don't know. That's crazy. Okay, well, I don't know much about this. I thought I knew what it was about, but I guess I'm off. Her best friend's murdered. There's wolves in the story. I guess if you're a wolf, it's kind of like a disease rather than like, oh, cool, you're a wolf. So, seems interesting. Then the next two books I got, which is a good thing about this website, is you can get sequels. If you're not sure and you don't want to pay a lot, you can buy sequels. I got Variant and the sequel Feedback by Robinson Wills. And Variant is about, I believe, this boarding school where... This kid gets a chance to go to this boarding school and he finds out it's not all the same so that if you break the rules you can die and he's trying to escape but there's surveillance cameras everywhere and there's guards everywhere so it's hard to escape there. So, excuse me, he's trying to escape for his life. Next book I got is Hooked by Katherine Greenman and this is a teenage pregnancy story which um, I was kind of surprised myself by wanting to read this because I'm very much against teenage pregnancy and even against teenage sex because it does tend to lead to many underlying problems. So I don't want to seem judgmental by any way. I don't judge people who are having sex as teenagers. I just think it's something that we should avoid. But yeah. So anyway, I guess this girl gets pregnant. It's about her and her boyfriend with a baby in the pregnancy going through college or high school or something. And since I am very set in my ways about teenage pregnancies and stuff like that and what I think that has should happen. I think giving reading this book and finding out what the character is going through will give me a broader perspective of teenage pregnancy and what's going through their head when they do have sex with the boy that they like and they're falling for all the like oh my gosh I love you I'll be with you forever and all that kind of stuff. So next book I have is The Splendor Falls by Rosemary Clement Moore, which, look how big that is. I thought it'd be really, really tiny, but it's not. And this one, hmm. I guess this girl, they move into this place, and weird things start happening. I don't want to read the whole friggin' back to you because I suck at synopsises, so. But yeah, I guess I could put the link to these on Goodreads on my the below box or whatever, sorry, I'm freaking not civilized and what it's called, but it'll take a long time. Next book I got was Arclight by Jocelyn M. McQueen, and this is my, um, Scratch and Dead book, and if you can see in the very corner, you can see that glare right there, you can see right there's a tear, and that was the only thing that was wrong was that there was a tear, and they could barely, it barely goes over. That's what happened when I got Scratch and Dead. Keep in mind, though, that a lot of scratch and dents do not come with the dust cover. If you don't know what the dust cover is, this is the dust cover. This is the book. Yeah, so they might not come with dust cover. So if you want your dust cover, don't get scratch and dent. But anyway, I guess this book is about these fades or something. Like, no one survives the fade, and then this girl survives it, and now these weird things are happening to her. I don't know. It didn't give much of a synopsis there, but I guess it's really creepy. I don't know, I'm not used to filming, so if I seem like awkward and just smile at certain times, because I don't know what I'm doing. I have Mind Games by Kirsten White, which I was set in a group to read this book on Goodreads, and I never did because I was in a book slump. So, sorry to those people. But yeah, I guess this girl has, like, power. She can see anything in the past or in the future or anything like that. Hold on. Don't do that. Okay. So, yeah, and then I guess they kidnap her and, like, torture her sister unless they do what she wants or, and she does what they want or something. I don't know. It seemed interesting. And then the sequel's out. And I like Kirsten White because I read her Paranormalcy trilogy and I actually really like the way she does fairies in that series because I like fairies. So, 
Next book I got was Masque of the Red Death by Bethany Griffin. And look at the look at the pretty cover. Pretty cover, pretty cover. I've heard this is a retelling of the Edgar Allan Poe story, and I don't want to butcher it because I'm not quite sure what the exact name of that. I think it is also the Masque of the Red Death. Or the Masque of the Red Death, I'm not quite sure, but I know it's off of Edgar Allan Edgar Allan Poe thing, and I guess it is about a nightclub during like the plague or the apocalypse. I think it's the plague, and like this girl singing and stuff. And it's supposed to be really interesting. I'd like to get into Edgar Allan Poe. I read one of his poems, and I really, really liked it. It's kind of hard because I'm just a little seventeen-year-old brain. So yeah. The, I have The Rules by Stacey Cade, and if you guys know, I've already read this. I have the art copy of it. I got it when I went to a bookstore. If I spent over like $25 or something, they were going to give out free arcs. And so I found that. I looked interesting, picked it up, read it, loved it. It was amazing. So go to your indie bookstores because they might hand out arcs. So I found a hardback of it, and I was very happy about that. That book, I think, is about aliens. Oh, God, I haven't read it in forever. It's about, yeah... She's either an alien or a robot. I cannot remember right now. I think she's an alien. And she was made in a laboratory or something like that. And then she escapes. And her and her father are on the run. And then stuff happens at her high school. And she's trying to fit in. But her best friend's getting bullied. Apparently I do seem to remember. And then she kind of falls in love, I guess. But she's not supposed to fall in love. Because then she can get caught and sent back to the factory. Or the factory, the laboratory. The next book I have is Incarnate by Jody Meadows, which is the most beautiful cover in the world. And this is the first reason I came to this book website. As you can see, my books are probably up. This is the first reason I came to the book website is because I saw this on there. I really wanted this. I wanted this forever and I never going to pay full price for it. So I saw it on hardback and I got my hands on it. And I guess this is a reincarnation book. And if you don't know what reincarnation is, it's a theory that... And so, actually, I think it's a religious belief, too, in certain religions, is that when you die, your body, your soul, gets reincarnated into another body, depending on what you did in your past life. <laughs> the life that you are now, technically. And so, I guess that's what this is about. And this girl gets reincarnated, and I guess she takes over someone else's body or something. And all these bad things start happening, and they figure out things about her. Puppies are evil. Don't get a puppy. Oh, he's running around my room, tearing things up. <laughs> Next book I have is Asunder by Jody Meadows, and this is a sequel, so I'm not going to go into anything about that, because this is a no-spoiler channel. I try my absolute best not to spoil anything, because if I ever hear spoilers, they stick in my head forever. Like, I could have heard a spoiler from, like, 6th grade, and it would stick in my head. Like, I'm not even kidding. In 7th grade, I think I read the back of a book to a sequel, and now I still remember the spoiler. So, please don't spoil anything. I have All Unquiet Things by Anna Jazarb, and I guess it's about a murder. A small town girl gets murdered, and her friends and boyfriend, ex-boyfriend, or I guess ex-boyfriend, she died, have to um, figure out what happened. I sound really mean, but... Uh. What are you doing? Excuse my chin roll. Next I have Dearly Departed by Leah Habel, and this is a pretty cover, and I wanted this forever. About a girl who, I guess, during, like, the future, they're actually in Victorian times. Are they or in Victorian times? I'm not sure. No, this is the future. I don't know why she's just, like, a Victorian girl. But anyway, there's zombies, and they're evil, and the girl wants to kill zombies, and the guy she falls in love with falls, turns into a zombie, or is a zombie. So, of course, now she's stuck between kill him or fall in love with him. Fathomless by Jackson Pierce, which is the third book in the fairy tale retelling series, but I guess these don't really tie in together. They might with the characters, but this one is completely different than the first two. This one is about mermaids. You can see the little mermaid girl. And by the way, I just hate that they changed the covers. I like the cute little covers, like Sweetly and Sisters Red. I don't like these covers. So I guess it's about this girl who's a mermaid. Two mermaids. One loves people, but she's really lonely and wants to have a friendship, and the other one hates being a mermaid. She wants to be human. So when this boy, I guess, falls in the ocean or something, both mermaids end up going to him, one with the idea of killing him to save herself to become human, with the other one falls in love with him. So they kind of fight over it, and that sounded so interesting. Ugh, it's almost done, so you don't have to watch this that long. <laughs> 
Next book I have is Article 5 by Kristen Simmons, and I guess this is a dystopian book. And in the future, this girl's mom breaks an article. I guess there's five articles instead of the... Oh my gosh, I'm forgetting everything about America right now, and I live in America. Except for instead of the Bill of Rights, there you go. They have the Article 5 or something, or the Federal Bill of Reformation. The five articles, which I guess are rules, and if you break them, you could die. So her mom breaks the one and leaves her and her siblings, I guess. I don't know if she has siblings or not. And the guy who she loves was the one that put her mom away and got her in trouble. Toby, what are you doing? If I sound like I'm yelling at him, I'm sorry, but I'm just, he's biting things. I have Angel Fire by Courtney Allison Moulton, which I, gosh, uh, this book... I think it deals with a girl who has like nightmares and then she finds out her nightmares are real and she hunts monsters. And that's all I can give to you because I have read the synopsis over and over and over and I don't know why that just seems to stick in my head. Next I have Wasteland by Susan Kim and Lawrence Clavan. Sorry, I was reading that in the blah, 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 blah. reflection. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm sure this is about a wasteland. And I guess something happens when you turn 19. Don't look at me. Yeah, at age 19 you die. So, I guess they're trying to beat dying. Ta-da! Stack of books. So, I'm sorry that was dreadful and my voice is awful and I can't breathe right now. And I'm probably out of breath. <coughs> oh my god, that's unattractive. But I can't edit it out. So... Thank you for watching and stay tuned because I hopefully will be more active on this channel. And please, please, please feel free to ask questions and comments unless they're spoilers. And if they are spoilers, I will murder you. And yeah, because I absolutely love when people comment and interact with me. It makes me so happy to have people actually interested and in asking questions. It makes me really static. Static! And if you feel like I can improve my... Uh, improve? Approve my... Oh my gosh, I got it right the first time. Improve my videos. Anyway, tell me. I'm... Ugh, I always say I'm working on getting editing, but I'm kind of lazy and I don't want to do editing. I'd rather just erase my video ten times until I find one I like. So, thank you.